Coming up, a brilliant lighthouse to keep those jelly bean smugglers safe. Freak out your friends with a piercing paper screecher. Make a spoon go disco dancing on the tabletop. And is this a magic muffin or is it merely multiple mirrors? Dana, if I have three muffins in this hand and four muffins in this hand, what do I have? Seven muffins. No, big hands. <laughs> Carrie Ann and Jordan have their hands full right now. They're doing some secret smuggling. Under cover of darkness, Jordan and I are sending this cargo of contraband jelly beans across the sea to Smuggler's Cove. Off you go, smugglers. Ah, It's a foul night for smuggling, me hearties. Our contraband is on its way. Oh no! It's too dark! I think they're heading for the cliffs. They've dashed us against the rocks. Abandon ship! Our smugglers are doomed. Unless... I know, we need a lighthouse. This cardboard will be perfect. Roll it up and stick it down so it withstand a heavier storm. And this foil dish can be the railing around the top of our lighthouse. Don't want our lighthouse keeper falling off. Hmm, better than I thought. OK, now for the important bit, the light. I'll mark out a couple of windows for the light to shine through. Hey, Mum, need some scissor work. Thanks. Meanwhile, Jordan will cut up some cute windows while I work on the base. Just cut out a lighthouse-sized hole and slip it in. Good. We'll need a door. On go the windows. Some glue. And there's a lighthouse that will keep our daring smugglers safe. Yo, Giovanni, I brought us a snack. Whoa, bummer. Only one chalky muffin left. And there's two of us. I wish I could make muffins magically appear. Mmm, magic muffin. I think I know how to multiply this muffin. I'll be right back. Don't even think about it, Giovanni. If I can make multiple muffins appear, you can have all the magic ones, and I get to have the original. OK, put that muffin in there. And voila, three muffins. One for me, two for you. Pretty good, huh? Whoa, watch this. There were three. Now there are five. More muffins for Giovanni. Five in total. But I'm not finished yet. Just a little adjustment of my mirrors. And seven magic muffins. Three in this mirror, three in that, and my muffin in the front. It may look like magic, but when two mirrors are facing each other, the reflection is bounced from mirror to mirror. In this setup, the front mirror muffins are direct reflections of the real one. But this muffin is a reflection of the front muffin in the other mirror. As Zach reduces the angle between the two mirrors, the image is bounced again and again. Now Giovanni's having a go at multiplying the muffin. Hey! Great idea! The answer wasn't multiplication, it was division. Zach's muffin magic was just a trick of reflected light. Carrie Ann is working on a light trick of her own. She's building a lighthouse. We're almost done. And now, time to put the light into our lighthouse. Thanks, Mum. The cutting out's brilliant. Now for our light beam. We shine it from the back here and out to sea here. Let's give it a try. Down there, Jordan. Lay the torch in our handy bracket and hold it tight with rubber bands. Turn it on. And yes! It works! Now let's get back to some smuggling. You can be skip it this time, Jordan. I'll launch it. Oh no! Our lighthouse isn't shining far enough out to sea. Shiver me timbers, shipmates! Uh-oh! It's run aground again! 
We'll be drowned before the night's over. Oh dear. We need something to make our torch shine out further, like a real lighthouse. Come on, Jordan. <laughs> After eating lunch, Jasmine and I sometimes play coin hockey. The winner gets to keep the change. Come on. Oh, she thinks she's so clever. Hey, wait a minute. I have another game for you, Smarty Pants. Can you build a bridge strong enough to support the coin out of a single piece of paper? You have to do better than that. Think it's impossible, huh? Watch this. I fold the edge over like this, then turn the paper over and fold back the other way. Then back the first way. Keep going so the paper ends up looking zigzag like this. Now look how strong paper can be. I'm the bridge building champion. And this coin is mine. This type of folded shape is called a corrugation. Without corrugations, the coin's downward force bends the paper. But when the corrugations share the downward force in the sideways direction, the paper doesn't bend much at all. Corrugation is an effective way of strengthening all sorts of things, from cardboard boxes to the roofs and walls of buildings. Just look at how much money my bridge can support. And it's all mine. Sometimes the simple tricks work the best. Here's another one from Jordan. Mm, I love after school snacks at Lara's. And you can't top chocolate ice cream. Yes, you can, with chocolate topping. Thanks, Lara. Yum! Pity I've almost finished all my ice cream. Nothing to put my chocolate topping on now. Except Lara's. Can't really steal it. Hmm. So I'll have to resort to a little sneakiness. I'll pop a spoon over here. And just get this magnet out of my pocket. Yes, my super strength little number. Perfect. Chocolate topping, excellent. Yep, this is definitely worth the trouble. Hold it, buckaroo. Challenge time. If I can make this spoon get up and dance on the table without touching it, I think you should hand over your ice cream. Deal? Deal. First, I'll pretend to channel all the power of my mind. Um, then I'll sneakily grab my magnet. And this spoon is about to do the fandango. There she goes! That amazing spoon is fox trotting all over the tabletop. Uh-oh, I think I've just been found out. Even though there's a glass table and tablecloth between them, the magnetic attraction between a metal object like a spoon and a powerful magnet is strong enough to shift the spoon whenever and wherever the magnet moves. And while Lara continues the spoon dancing, I'm tucking into my half of her ice cream. Oh, darling, she's seen me! I think chocolate ice cream has a real power of attraction here. I'm so bored with my homework. After school time should be for fun. Like playing bongo drums. Oh, sorry, Emily. Boy, talk about uptight. Maybe I can make something that'll crack her concentration. My famous ear-spitting paper screecher will do the trick. Just cut out a small rectangle like this, fold it in half, and snip out two little triangles from the folded edge. There, they make two holes like this. Now fold each side in half again. You get a zigzag shape like this. Put one finger on each side of the middle fold and blow as hard as you can. Cool! This little baby's gonna make Emily jump out of her skin. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm here. That made her forget about her homework for once. Sound is made by vibration. Faster vibrations make higher sounds. 
lower vibrations make lower sounds. In this case, air being forced between two pieces of paper and out through these holes makes the vibration. I finally dragged Emily away from her homework. Whoa! Not even my paper screecher can beat that. Nice scream, Emily. I don't think Fraser saw that coming. No, but Carrie Ann's smugglers can see what's coming, thanks to her ingenious lighthouse. Ooh, it's cold out there. But the solution to our lighthouse problem is... there. Look! Grandma puts this funny magnifying plastic over her newspaper. It makes the letters look sharper. See? It really works. I reckon these funny round lines will sharpen up our torch beam too. Look! Here's the torch beam without the lens. And now with the lens. See? Sharper! Just what our smugglers need. Now stick it across the front and tape it on. Great. Now turn on the torch. Yeah, it shines out much further. Into the ocean she goes. Our smugglers can safely avoid those treacherous rocks. And yes, our contraband is safe. If you look closely at Carrie Ann and Jordan's magnifying lens, you'll see it's made up of lots of round grooves. Each groove is at a slightly different angle. The grooves are angled so they focus the light in a concentrated beam. This is called a Fresnel lens. Modern day lighthouses still work using Fresnel lenses. With a light source only 10 times brighter than a household light bulb, a good Fresnel lens can send a light beam 34 kilometres, that's 21 miles, out to sea. This lighthouse is perfect! Our smugglers can see exactly where the dangerous rocks are. Yes! They landed safely! We'll be dancing a jig tonight, me hearties! Arr! They'll be dancing the jelly bean jig because they made it to Smuggler's Cove. And we have made it to the end of another show. See, see you next time! time.